Hi friends, if you see tip bones on cylindro plants, something like this, don't worry too much about it. I noticed it so many times, I would say pretty much every time in every hydroponic system and pretty much with every cylindro plant. These tip bones happen during their young age between uh, two and four weeks of age but the plants mostly recover themselves we don't really need to do anything here i'm not doing anything extra i have been doing the same things like feeding the nutrients i'm actually feeding maxi grow nutrients for these cylindro plants i'm feeding half a teaspoon for every one liter of water i haven't changed anything for the nutrition and i'm just refilling the water as needed so i did not do anything but the plants recovered on their own i saw this tip bone on pretty much every plant but if you look closely actually let's look at the same plant here and observe the young growth here the young growth doesn't have any tip bone issue only the older leaves i did not remove these so that's why we are seeing the tip bones here but if you look at the other plants they also had some tip bones but they recovered i cleaned most of the plants but i am still uh, missing some so look at this plant it had the tip bones in the past but all this younger growth is coming really nice no issues at all and if you look at this overall cylindro it is looking really good very fresh very flavorful very tasty and it is doing excellent and i don't see the tip bones anymore on many of these plants this is 47 days old cylindro as i said like the tip bones happened at the age of two to oh, four weeks but uh, it recovered afterwards I don't see those tip bones anymore on the new growth. Look at this. The young growth is coming excellent here. These tip bones are uh, pretty old. I just missed it to clean them up. So don't worry about these tip bones on cilantro. It is pretty common pattern. I saw it every time so I don't worry much. I just do my job, the routine maintenance and let the plants recover and come back with a fresh growth. Just uh, keep removing these uh, dead growth because that may lead to some mold or uh, it might lead to some other issues and the plants may die. So just uh, be active and remove all these dead leaves and let the plant come back with a fresh growth.